Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the products that I share with you. Um, I am so sorry for not um, announcing that I was going to be going live. I have been out and about today and for some reason I'm hoping that I'm in the right spot. Let me just check here. I spent two and a half hours um, in my vehicle driving around, uh, dropping off catalogs to uh, customers' mailboxes, as well as going to the post office and mailing a bunch. Um, I have, okay, are we... Yeah, so I was uh, busy first thing this morning getting all my catalogs ready to go. And now um, now they're all done. I have to order some more in. I am out. Um, I have uh, 38 catalogs that are, have either been delivered or about to be delivered within the next couple days. As I do have a class on Wednesday. And I have a couple orders here that customers need to come and pick up. So... Um, please, when you stop by, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. And uh, please share my video. Sharing is caring. It's how I reach more um, crafty people and uh, customers and team members. So first up, before we get crafting, I want to talk about my holiday catalog paper share this will be on my blog tomorrow tuesday today is monday august 19th this will be on my blog tomorrow tuesday the 20th the uh holiday catalog paper share it is eight different packages of designer series paper from the holiday catalog you're going to get a quarter of each package and um, the, it is cut into six by six. Hi, Wendy, how are you? What time is it over in Australia? You're gonna get a quarter package of each of the eight um, holiday catalog papers. Uh, they're cut into six by six size, and it is 96 pieces of paper all together and the cost is $45 per share for local porch pickup or you need to add on $13 for priority post to be mailed directly to you. Oh, 5 10 a.m. Oh my goodness, that's early. It is 3 13 in the afternoon here in southwestern Ontario. Yes, yeah, so um, and as a thank you for taking part in my holiday catalog paper share, I'm going to include a quarter package of the gorgeous Mer Mercury Glass Designer Acetate with each of the shares. So the shares are divided into four. So that will be on my blog tomorrow. Next Tuesday, August 27th, is my holiday catalog kickoff open house from 6 p.m. till 8 8 p.m. So pop on over to see some brand new Stampin' Up! products. Bring a friend new to me and get an extra door prize ticket. I'm going to have treats, beverages, samples, door prizes, sign up sheets for upcoming classes, and extra, extra catalogs on hand. And that's why I need to order some more when I am done here. So today I'm going to be sharing my paper pumpkin with you. I did not get a chance to get on on the weekend to do it. My weekend just seemed to fly by. So this is how Paper Pumpkin comes. If you've never watched one of my Paper Pumpkin videos, it is a monthly subscription that comes FedEx right to your door. It's $30 plus tax. The shipping is included and it has everything you need in it to create whatever projects are contained within the box, um, other than your scissors generally. So, um, and I also have the Gift of Fall add-on 
that if you were a subscriber, you were able to purchase for $13. Now, this is only available in North America, so prices in the United States are a little less. We pay more for everything here in Canada, just like I bet you do over in Australia, Wendy. And I also want to remind you that Bon Appetit by Paper Pumpkin, you sign up from August 11th to September 10th. You're going to get, in September's kit, is 20 food safe treat boxes. So um, if you are wanting to get the September Paper Pumpkin kit for your Halloween treat packaging, um, go to my blog www.stampinwithmercy.com and I have a paper pumpkin icon on the uh, right hand sidebar that you just click on to add um, to sign up for it and you can get it one month just the one month or you can do three six or twelve months or if you're local to me shoot me a message and let me know you would like me to add on one more kit for you I'm happy to do that yeah, I know you wish you could get Paper Pumpkin there. Did you get the, um, was it April or May one, the Hugs from Shelly? Hi, Anne-Marie, how are you? So as you can see, I just snipped that. I have no idea what is all in here. Okay, we've got a beautiful um, printed. Okay, so this is what my cards are gonna look like from the add-on kit I see. So, the Bon Appetit. So let's see what other stamp set looks like. Thankful for the friends like you. Enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. And grateful for family like you. Nice, nice. And then this uh, Fall Berry stamp set I would stamp image. Okay, so Mary Merlot, so I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna pull out my full size Mary Merlot. And then let's open this up. Yeah, hopefully with, um, I know it's part of the shipping problem, right? I know in um, Europe they have issues as well. So I know Stampin' Up! would love to have Paper Pumpkin in all of their markets because it is a fabulous monthly um, craft subscription. So the gift of fall instructions. So we're gonna make it makes six bags. We're not gonna do that all today. So let's just pop this open. So I'm gonna say this is Mango Melody. This um, ribbon. And we've got some gold adhesive back sequins, a sheet of dimensionals. Oh, look at how cute are these bags. And my, uh, some twine. Our labels that are laser cut. Pull this right out. Okay, let's move these to the side as we get everything else out. Okay. Yes, I even ate my lunch on the road. So here's our images. They're pretty. I like that wreath. And then the banner. and some patterned leaves. This looks like our, if you flip it over, our leaf punch. So we'll be able to make more with um, that if we choose. Some more labels, Mary Merlot. Um, crumb cake is what I'm thinking that is. Oh, look at this vellum. <gasps> so pretty. I love it when they do printed vellum. And then more leaves in a different pattern. And then these, and then here's our little glue dots. I don't use these either, I set those aside. And then here is the most important instructions. Okay, so 
and my iPad is acting weird. It's not showing up. So I, oh, now we've, now I've got a picture. So I couldn't even tell if I was in the, the camera screen or not. So now I can see. All right, so stamp leaves and sentiments. So let's get that out. Look at how cute is this size of bag. And it's a nice thick bag. Let's open this up. It's not, um, it's a very thick paper bag. So it could handle something heavy um, like your specialty olive oils or um, little bottles of dressings or chocolates is always a good thing. Um, anything that you want, really. So let's just put that aside. Okay, so because it's photopolymer, let's get our stamp and pierce mat out so that we um, can get a better image. <clears throat> and then what is our sentiment? I'm thinking I should have ordered an extra kit for myself because this is so pretty. And I'm pulling all of my stamps off here first so that, that I think I'm going to be using. Okay, so put that to the side. And then I'm going to bring in my D block. And it's sticking to my nail because my hands are warm. It's another warm day. Yesterday we had a wicked, wicked uh, thunderstorm. The power flickered and it was very hot and it was raining quite heavy and it was very, very windy. I'm actually going to move this so that I can line this up so that I can stamp hopefully fairly straight. And this is a C block. Our blocks always have the um, letter on the side so that you know. And then this is another C block and I think it should fit. And with your first month subscription, you're going to get a um, block included and it's just like this. It's not quite as thick, but this is the paper pumpkin D block that you're going to get. Let's see, it says right on there, paper pumpkin. So this is what you would get your first month of um, getting the paper pumpkin subscription. Good morning, Donna. How are you? Yes, when I go live, usually you're sleeping. And then when you go live, I am sleeping and we never seem to get to uh, catch each other live. I just watched your um, video of you showing your redone craft room. It looks lovely. So I always clean my stamps when I uh, first get them in case there's any kind of film on them. And this is, would you believe it or not, this is my chamois. And my chamois, this is my original one. I've had this since last year because generally I'm a little OCD about it looking fairly nice. I know you don't have to worry about that, but it's just my little quirky thing. I actually, in a little plastic container, I keep a chamois that I picked up at the dollar store. And you can see, you can see the ink on there. I wipe the heavy ink off first before I use my chamois. 
You certainly don't have to, but that's just my weird little thing that um, I like to do because I like my stuff to still look pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, that's very exciting that um, you're going to be able to do your own retreat right there. I have to rent space, and it's very expensive. Every um, January, I hold a creative escape, and um, I rent our local my church i rent space from them the hall and it's gone up fifty dollars so it's three hundred dollars for the day so i have to make sure that i've got enough people signed up for it so that um, i can recoup my costs so unfortunately my um, events that i don't hold in my home are kind of pricey um, because of that, I'm just folding a piece of printer paper so that I can cover up my chamois. But having it, yeah, having your own space that you've got lots of room to hold um, people, that's fabulous. Okay, so my Mary Merlot. So it says that, oh, I need to get out what size these ones here I'm not organized so we're just gonna do one bag um, I know we better do two because there's two different so well they're two different sizes so it's a one of these one of these Okay, and then we're going to need one of these and what's that one for? I'm just looking at my instructions here trying to figure out, it must be just an extra down here at the bottom of this sheet you can see that I've got the little tags but nowhere I'll have to look at my picture oh it's see it's for the cards extra little things for the cards because there it is right there because nowhere on here is that skinny little label tag so okay That away, put that away. Pop all this out. Yes, be saving to have not have to pay for a, a venue is fabulous. But then some people prefer, might prefer to not be in your home. I don't know. I get more people coming to my creative escape than I do my classes. That's for sure. Okay, so I need one of each. One with this, one with this. And then I'm just popping out carefully my, you're gonna go with the fat we're going with the skinny one and you're going with that one and then we need Now I do have, coming up in September, I have my um, holiday head start that, oh, that one needs two. This one needs two of those. So, um, but I run it that it's a morning or, oops, the morning or the afternoon session. So I run it from 10 till 12 or one, till uh, 
three. So which one did I need a second one of? This one. Four. This is taking the longest time, sorry, for that. And then I need one of these. Oh, this one I don't need, it's this one I need. Okay. So I think by the looks of it, let me just scooch you up a smidge more so that you're better in the camera view. All right, so let's move this stuff now out of the way so we don't get ink on it. And that, and then stamping with My head not in the camera could be interesting. Okay, that looks good. And so now I'm just looking at the picture that's, we want this down here, angled in like that. I'm not sure if I've got that over far enough or not, but we shall see. Okay, then move you to the side and oh, right here, bring in our sentiments. So grateful for family like you. is which one okay it's this one here and fingers crossed I can get this straight when I'm not quite over it Oh, look at that, I did okay. All right, the next one. I like the way this Mary Merlot looks on this crumb cake. And it looks like we're all inked up. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wow, two in a row. Better not test my luck anymore, eh? Okay. All right, let's close this up because I'm sure that I would end up sticking my fingers in it. Okay, so move this out of the way bring in my silicone craft sheet and everything that I need for it so that goes with that that goes with that I'm just dividing them up so that I'm looking at my This one goes with that. I don't know why I pulled out two. I don't think I needed two. Okay, put that to a side. So then you get this. You get this. And you get this. Alrighty. So now let's bring in my... Okay, where is my ribbon? Oh, it's over here. 
Everything is all over the place and piled up. And our sequins are here. So we've got two sizes of sequins. Can you tell? These ones on the left, my left hand side, are a little bit bigger. Okay, so, hi Laura, how are you? All right, so, pull that tape off, get rid of it. All right. So we've done step one, then we layer and adhere round tags to banners using the adhesive dots. So let me just go into my adhesive drawer that's right beside me here and pull out my mini glue dots. And we will just pick one up. And that looks like it goes right below the, seems such a shame to cover that up, but it goes right below our, our hole here, which is not, there we go. And then we'll do one at a time here. So layer, and adhere leaves to banner. Step five, we're doing one banner at a time. So we need the leaves and the, is that the right one? Yes, we need this. The pictures are in black and white, so it's hard to see. So let me just flip this and put that up here so I can see. And then you can see as well a little bit as to what I'm doing. If I scooch this down, now you can see. So this is the one we're doing first. Thankful for you. So next we need some of this. I can figure out, there it is. So it looks like it's gonna be, this is gonna come like this. So we're like this. And where are my other? This is going to go like this, like this, and then this is going to go up here, like that. All right, and then we need some of this to go underneath. So I'm thinking I'm going to need, I have little hands, so I'm going to need all four. One, fingers, two, three, four. I'm sure it tells me how much I need, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna measure. Okay, so let's take, get rid of that. Let's take glue dot. And have that here, then another glue dot, and you're going to go up here. And then this is going to come out the top. Some people don't like um, packaging. They just like to make the cards. I like the packaging as well. It's always fun. OK. 
Okay. Now, I've shown you before how I like to um, attach any, any linen thread or um, metallic thread. I always just run some snail on the back. You don't have to. And then I'm going to pull it slightly so it's not so perfect. So it's a little messy looking. And then I can take my ends and just tuck that in. And look at that. That looks good. So now I've got my own dimensionals here. So I'm going to put one at either end and then one here and one here and that's going to prevent the saggy middle. We don't like saggy middles. So peel that off. They're saying that we could get more storms again today and with the humidity it's supposed to feel like 40. Whoops, look at that, they're sticking to my fingers. I hope my air conditioning, it's, I'm in the basement, so I don't know. I came in and from all my running around and just put everything away and came right down to my craft room. So I didn't check yesterday, my air conditioning shut off and oh my gosh, it got really hot in here. During the storm, I couldn't open the windows because the rain was coming down so hard. All right, look at how pretty that tag is. Now, it looks... I'm just going to open this. Yes, I did, Donna. It's, it's right here. I'm going to open it next to see. There's quite a few cards in here. So, to adhere... Tie tags to craft using 14 inches of linen thread and 16 inches of ribbon. Oh, and then we lightly spritz ribbon with water and squeeze it to get the crinkle effect. Well, isn't that fun? Well, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to measure because that seems like an awful lot of ribbon. So... I'm thinking I'm just going to that looks like a good amount and at the bottom of my grid paper let's see how much did I actually you know what I might have used 14 just by eyeballing it nope I used 12 and a quarter inches so not too bad. All right, so then we want a bit of a bow with this. So we'll just measure it this way as well. All right, so I'm going to spritz this off camera. So this is the way the ribbon looks. So let me grab, I keep my spritzer with water. I mark the ones that have my shimmer paint in them. So I'm just gonna, in my hand here, off camera. See how this works. And I'm, I'm rolling it up. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is kind of cool. So just scrunching it did nothing, so I'm just rolling it and getting it a little crinkly. All right, so. Doing this on camera is a little tricky. Okay, so I'm just gonna wind this around like that. I 
I'm sure if you use the bigger, the more larger amount of um, twine, you'd get a bigger, flowier bow, but eh, we don't need that. All right, so that, and then let's take and tie you, wind you through here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, guys. I'm just winging it. I'm just looking at the picture and trying to figure it out. And I've just tied it around the one. Piece of linen thread there. This is like our old seam binding ribbon that we had years and years ago. And they just, it looks almost like this one here is knotted, but I think bows are prettier. Okay. So there is that bag with the tag. Isn't that cute? And now I would, uh, Oh, that is not working. Let me get my ribbon scissors. All right, so. And there. Very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so let's, oh, you know what? I didn't use any sequins. Let's get some sequins on here. So where's my take your pick tool is right here. When it's not planned out, this is what happens. When I'm just kind of, even though it's a kit, I've not made it before, so I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants, as the saying goes, one, I love my Take Your Pick tool. I use it every single day. And let's, makes it so much easier for, there. We've got the three, the triangle. One, two, three. Very cute. Okay, so then, this one here will be put together a little quicker. And then we'll quickly open up that. Card packet and see what they look like. Okay, and this Oh, this one here, they've tied it around here and then put a bow. Can you see that? So it's not, it's attached differently than the swirly, scribbly mess. So it's, it's t wrapped around and tied in a bow. So let's do that. It looks like three times. So grab a length enough to be able to tie a bow so that looks good so all righty scooch that up not too far Whoops. Okay. Bring that down just a bit. There, that bow look turned out pretty darn good for tying it on camera. Alrighty, so now. Hi Tammy, how are you? You're gonna get your catalog on Wednesday when you come to memory keeping class Wednesday at one o'clock. 
I've got them all ready. My sister was here this morning helping me out. One there. And then let's just see, make sure that I'm gonna be up high enough. We don't wanna have it not covered up. that and then my leaf will go under like that okay and now before we put our let's just spread that out a bit so it doesn't look quite so and now we need dimensionals. I'm sure you could get away with less, but I like to make sure that it's equally supported on whatever I am putting it on, card front, tag, Hi, Jackie, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. So let's get you kind of up and out of the way for the moment. So I think my bow needs to there. It was down just a little bit too low. That looks pretty good. All right, so now let's put a few sequins on this. Let's grab one of these big ones. Wait till you see the holiday catalog for those of you who are customers and not demonstrators oh my gosh there is just so many fabulous products in there okay and we're not going to crinkle this one we're just going to Tie this on. So get out our second bag. Move this stuff out of the way. And side. Make sure this is even. And then this one is grateful for family like you. And I think I'll probably put something in here for my sister who is so very helpful with me. Always willing to jump in the car and help me hand out catalogs, help me put stickers on catalogs. So I think I'll be going to the local chocolate shop, Sugar and Spice, and getting her some yummy chocolate to put in this. Okay, so that, and then don't use those scissors. cut 
quite a bit more for this one. I wasn't eyeballing measuring. I just unspooled a bunch, so. I'm sure this is so super boring for you guys watching me tie bows. I'm usually much quicker, but when you're doing it on camera, all right, come on. And this bow is not very pretty. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay. Not my best bow, but look at how pretty that is. I really like these tags. They're so pretty. All right. Let's move this off to the side. And let's crack open this. card kit. See what we do with it. I've had this for a little while, but I wanted to wait to open it with you guys. So so there's 24 cards and envelopes in this packet. So we've got envelopes are all the same very pretty and then these are our cards so we've got the watercolor wash and the um, wreath very very pretty so on the back of this. Here we go. So it is showing us what the cards, what you can do with them. So let's, I don't give out Thanksgiving cards. I don't know, I don't know anybody I don't think it's a real Canadian thing to, we get together for Thanksgiving. Um, our Thanksgiving is in October, but, um, and we, I'd like to do, if we're, if I'm the one hosting for my family, um, I do decorations for the table and that, but we don't give out cards per se. So that's something totally different. All right, so. Let's pop out a leaf. So this card needs a leaf and one of these. And where's my stripey ones in my giant pile here. All right, there they are. One of those, and then we're not going to do Happy Thanksgiving, but you could do a different sentiment for sure. A fall birthday or something like that. A hello. These cards you could do easily. This would could be a sympathy card. I think that they could be an all occasion card. Easy peasy. So, and then one of these. All right. So, Let's put this up here. 
All right, so grateful for, for family like you. We're going to, let's do, this will be Anne's card. So, And then let's just go ahead and stamp this. Okay. Move this out of the way because we're done with that. We are going to tie a bow, but I'm using the heat of my hand to try to get this to not be quite so curly. It's very hard to tie a bow when it is super duper. All it wants to do is curl back up on itself. So on the side of that. Making sure that our loops are the same size. Okay, then So let's get to building this. Did I pull out? Yes, I did. So this is going for this one. We want two glue dots. This would make a super quick um, project if you had a bunch of cards that you needed to um, send out to family and friends you could sit and take making sure that I'm not going over the corner there take a few extra supplies and look at your stamp stash different sentiments okay so how are we gonna do that I think we're gonna pull this one oh, look at that it's like totally stuck to my warm hand all right do we want this below yeah there okay and then Putting this on first before I put my bow on. So that way I can just slide it up and tuck it. Okay, is that on straight? Yes, it is. All right, so then I'm going to take, because I have a feeling that this ribbon is going to, if I was to try to put it on, on the spool here, it might, I'm just going to take this and 
lift it just slightly to come on and now it's stuck to my finger oh there we go i want it just peeking out like that pull that down just slightly make that loop a little smaller okay sequins Ling makes everything better. So, whoop, we've got those things stuck. So, let's put, we've got one here. One here. And let's go one over here. Cute. Wouldn't you agree? What do you think? And then of course they're white on the inside so it's easy to uh, write your message in that. Okay, put that aside. Now. Bring my bone folder and get it a little more flattened there. Okay, so this one here, we're gonna go, this is gonna go down here. So, oh, they've got it. They've got the ribbon going back and forth. So, we're going to Like that. And that. And then let's just bring that. Back there. And then. Snip that. And look at how pretty does that look. Oh, I like that. That turned out nice. All right, and let's get some dimensionals on, on this. Okay. So... What are we doing here? We're putting this here, and then we're building, looks like a bouquet coming up. I'm just, I'm going from this image right here. So we are going to need one more of these. So it's gonna go like this, like this. And then one, two of those, and then since we used the blue one, although it shows the blue one, should we use this one? What do we think? No, I don't like that on there. Whoop, we're stuck. We'll go with the blue like they've got. One and two. And since I have this punch, I can see myself um, finding different papers to punch out once I'm done with once I'm done with this. I'm gonna find some different papers that I can punch out to um, work with these cards. So I like these. These are really pretty. I'm thinking that it would be perfect for my September stamp chat and snack. One of these. Okay, so 
I am. Whoop, look at that. I just peeled that right off. Okay, try not to touch it because it's really sticking to my hands today. So we are going to slide you down like that. So that way I have a spot to build from. Oh, there it is. I already had one out. Okay. And then to everything they're so sticky okay so I take this and put it yeah like that so let's take a glue dot and stick it I'm gonna try sticking it on here instead and that works better that way it's not it's not um, gonna stick to my fingers hi Debbie how are you Here I was complaining about the heat at the start and you have it even hotter where you live. Okay, there and my last one is gonna go, whoop. Didn't come off my take your pick. There we go. My last one is going to go like that. All right, so now peel the backings off of these. Right. And then let's add a couple sequins. So one here, and a big one there, and a little one there. And let's put a big one down here. There we go. What do you guys think? Pull all this out of the way. So we've got our two bags and then our two cards that go with them. Isn't that pretty? I think so. Really, really nice. So, don't forget if you are in Canada, um, you have until 
September 11th, or 10th, sorry, September 10th to <clears throat> sign up for the September Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Bon Appetit. Um, it gets delivered right to your door. Or if you're local and you want me to add on to my subscription, I have one. I have one friend that does that. I would happily add on to my subscription, um, um, order in one extra for you. Not a problem at all. And then don't forget about my holiday catalog kickoff. That is next Tuesday the 27th from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. if you're local. And my catalog holiday catalog paper share. Again, this will be on my blog tomorrow. So you can take a look at the uh, print up um, and see. And um, those of you that are my customers, your catalogs are either in your mailbox right now or they will be delivered to you by next week because I was to the post office today and got them um, mailed out. And then I have just a few more that will be getting them within the next couple days, either at class or when they come to pick up their orders. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I truly do appreciate it. And remember, um, please share my video. Sharing is caring. And uh, I will be back on Thursday at my regular time at 1 p.m. on Thursday afternoon. Uh, to uh, share another project with you. So thanks so much for stopping by. Bye for now.